Hello my soccer universe, let's also look at the leaked Nike jerseys for Euro 24 and yeah, this will also be another one where I'm going a little bit, are these really good? Is this good idea? Bad? Bad, bad ideas? Or whatsoever. I mean, overall I have, have to say over the past 10-15 years Nike have produced some of the nicest national team shirts as evidenced by this one here and I think all the four that I chose here for the background are some of the best work that Nike have ever done. It's not an exhaustive list, it's just that I turned out from my collection. And Nike though in the last few years has always come with some weird stuff. Like for instance this weird boomerang shape that we had on many of the World Cup jerseys which really toned it down or a template, this arc here, that also kind of left us all a little bit, yeah this is too modular. The good news is, I think that is gone. I think all the jerseys that we have now, the, at least the shirts, color is up, talk about the color, is up, look actually quite nice. They all have this kind of uh, side stripe uh, that's never a bad feature. Uh, and the other thing that Nike went for is to kind of give the home shirt, it looks familiar, but there's a little bit of color twist in there. Something new there too. Also, I think a trend is larger crests which is never a bad thing. However, then they decided, yeah, we need to do something weird. And what they did weird is we're looking at completely weird colors. Uh, we have uh, the, it looks like a crew neck, but there's a kind of a fold over, over, which, yeah, I guess. Why, why would you want to do that? I guess it's Nike trying Nike things. I mean, Puma have been doing it for years. Um, so yeah. And then we have some asymmetric colors, not as weird as Adidas and Puma have done in the mid 2000s, but still some of them look really, really weird as well. And this is probably the biggest bone of contention, I think, uh, the Nike colors. There's another thing that we will see, it's relatively plain, as I said, with a slight color twist, relatively plain home jerseys, and then away jerseys in never before seen configurations, kind of, sort of. So let's dig right in and we'll go alphabetically. I want to start at England and the England home jersey. It looks like a 90s England shirt to me, just on the face of it. I really love it. Even the, uh, what, what, what did it in sleeve cuts, but it has the weird collar. I'm not as bugged by the collar as I've heard some other people here, uh, but I agree it looks off a little bit, but you know, if you just look, look from a distance, it looks like a v-neck in navy. And so to me, this is a really, um, it has a slight retro feel to me. So it, 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 it's a really nice England shirt. Let's put that, let's say what it is. It's a really nice England shirt overall. There is not much I can complain about. The away jersey is extremely adventurous. I mean, for, first of all, the deep purple eggplant, and I think it's eggplant sesame theme. <laughs> Uh, to me, it's like a deep purple. Oh, deep purple. I actually like deep purple a lot. So it's a deep purple with gold. I think that is a color combination that works really well. It's however not very England. That's, I think, where I have a little bit of pro pro with. But then you have the, and it would here when we have not heard anything about, uh, you know, what's the inspiration behind. But the sides are very colorful and yeah, they add something. Would it be interesting if this was on the sleeve cuffs and no other sides? Maybe, but I actually think I can get on board with that one. Uh, if I look at the collar, I think this is also this weird fold over that I have. So yeah, it's maybe a little bit weird, but I think England overall have a... I personally like the set for England. Uh, same thing goes for France. I mean, the home jersey, I am so happy that they are bringing it back. I don't mind the navy. I really don't mind the navy. But for me, France should be the royal blue. Very happy that they brought this back. Very happy with the full color rooster. And I mean, there is something with me and France home jer jerseys. Every time they release one, I mean, the last one for, for the World Cup, initially I didn't like it and I saw it in play and I said, this is, uh, it's the greatest thing ever. Uh, here I'm almost, it's almost, I must have this one. I don't have one with this beautiful rooster and this nice blue. And then the flag um, a color, 
That's really cool. However, the color is a little, little bit off. You see the side of the rooster suddenly cut the red cuts off. So it is a little bit asymmetric. But overall, it's a really nice shirt. Maybe the one thing that honestly cheapens the look a little bit. And I don't mind some red on my France shirt. I, th I thought this was it. But the red side stripes, I think this would be cooler if it was just plain royal blue. The red, not quite so solid. But the rooster, the huge rooster in full color. The, the color of the jersey it's pretty awesome I, 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 there's almost nothing to dislike about this one maybe with the exception of the color the away kit though when i saw it first oh this is interesting this gives me also kind of the 1982 vibes so you know the beautiful um, kit that i have from the 2010 world cup but then look closer. The pinstriping, it's basically does what, what we saw for the Adidas Italy away jer jersey. Takes the pinstripe, makes, makes a half half look. With one side red, the rooster side, and the Nike swoosh side being blue. And I think it would be nice if this was just a gradient, A. But I think it would be nice if the pinstripes were not so thin. This makes the jersey look really, really, really messy. So, I mean, the width between the pinstripes should be a little bit wider. I mean, if you leave out every other, so if you leave out every other or even two pinstripes, I think you might be onto something. I still think it might look better if you do alternating ones for, for the cows. But having this half-half, it just doesn't look right. It gives you the a gradient idea, but uh, and I know I like the basic design, but it's just not quite there. It's weird. Let's put it that way. It's weird. It's not as it's not this aesthetic beauty that the home jersey is, despite the off color. At least the home jersey, uh, the away jersey has a regular color. The Dutch. Oh, this we'll be talking about again. The home jersey, relatively plain. Uh, now we have the lion, who is uh, you know the, it's accented in a navy blue, which I think is an interesting color combination, and also one where I'm thinking, yeah. Hmm, hmm. Don't have that for a Dutch jer home jersey. I have only orange with white and a lot of orange with black. That's actually cool. Um, would be interesting to see the color of the shield is kind of really, really baby uh, blue to have this also reflected around the collar or the sleeve cuffs. I think it's on the side striping a little bit on the back. But overall, I think they're onto something here. The way jersey though. Asymmetric color, looks already weird. And then I don't know what this pattern is supposed to be. I like my Dutch jerseys in blue with a little bit of orange, but why do you need to go as wild again? I mean, uh, for the Women's World Cup, they already did a little bit weird, but this one takes it up a notch. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna pass on this one. Although I could see this one. Let's say the Dutch just do mildly well. I could see this one becoming a real collector's item. But the color is just weird. You agree with me? Or the color is weird. Asymmetric. Although it doesn't turn me off as much as it should because I like my color symmetric. But this one, uh, there's actually something about it. That's not so bad. Uh, Portugal, again, very simple home jersey in just red, asymmetric color. And um, I have heard referred to that this is one of the worst Portugal home jerseys. I actually don't mind it that much. Yes, I wish that instead of the black, we had green and then black as a tertiary uh, accent color. But I don't think this looks all that bad. I mean, it's what a Portugal jersey should do. Uh, if you would pair this with green uh, pants, it's a great overall look. I would say, yes, the color is off. And yes, there's not a lot of design going on. So yeah, take it or leave it. Um, I don't find it as bad. It's not an awesome jersey jersey. I put it right there with Spain for Adidas. Um, I see what you're doing. I see what you're trying. It's maybe not working out well, but it's also, it doesn't destroy the jersey. The away jersey though, um, <laughs> Weirdly enough, I like it. I mean, it has this tile uh, theme, which is, you know, a Portuguese setting. And, you know, the, I like the white and blue. And they all over, over print. It definitely makes stand out. For me, this is much better than the Netherlands uh, jersey, where it's kind of random. Um, I would love if the tile pattern was a little bit more regular and not fading in and out, as I can see from the leaks. However, I find it kind of spectacular. Yeah. I know I may not be, but I find it's a nice reference. You can make it out 
and from a distance it will look like a light blue jersey. Maybe the patches on, on the side we could do without, but on, on the other side I don't think it's all that bad. And then the last one we saw, and this is not one of the top teams for uh, Nike, but we saw already the Turkey jersey. I'm sure that the home jersey, we, last time, last year, as we were already told that Turkey will have a white home jersey similar to, to this one, then it, they played all in red at home. So I assume that despite this white jersey being uh, brandished as the home jersey, it will not be. I actually, this design for Turkey, to me, is iconic. I absolutely love it. The only thing is the swoosh. It's completely misplaced. This placement is better. I guess you want to have a sense that right. put the swoosh on the one side and then have the number here. Uh, don't do it here because now the number is forced so much down, it will look weird. And then the away jersey, which I'm sure is a home jersey, is just uh, yeah, round of the middle red turkey home jersey. Nothing to see here, to be honest. So overall, I'm not so down on Nike as I'm on Adidas. Even though there have been a few weird things in, I mean, I don't like asymmetric colors. Except for the Netherlands jersey, they don't bug me here. And yes, I would like to see more jerseys. I actually think that the Brazil jersey is, both of them are really awful. I find some of the away jerseys a little bit uh, weird. But then you have uh, two really classy, classic and classy looking France and England jerseys and a new interesting color scheme for the Netherlands which also kind of works and uses colors that have been used on Dutch jerseys before, maybe not in that combination, or Dutch kids, I should say. So yeah, not so bad, but let's see how they look in match. Uh, which of those I would want to have for my collection, potentially? The France home jersey for the England away. It's also an interesting one. Any case, let me know your thoughts. Um, as I said, it's nothing spectacular, but actually this... I like this. I like it being not spectacular. I mean, uh, Nike has the advantage of usually being a little bit more, more sort of simplistic. I mean, for Nike, Nike jerseys, you just need to put a swoosh on it and it's Nike. So they always will have that advantage over Adidas. Adidas need to do something really fine like they largely did for the previous two World Cups. Any case, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, drop a line below with your thoughts. Talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!